Hi, in this very short video, I'd like to explain what intrinsic functions are as it relates to CloudFormation. So intrinsic functions are functions provided by CloudFormation to help you manage CloudFormation stacks. So if you can't know what values to assign to properties until you deploy your stack, you can use these functions to assign those values at runtime. For example, if one of your resources depends on another resource's attribute, and that attribute is only available once the resource is created, we can use the function getAttribute, intrinsic function, to grab that value and inject it at runtime. And on this page, you can learn all about it, but let's take a look at an actual CloudFormation template, which just spins up one single public instance inside of a non-default VPC. So let's go ahead and search for function get attribute. So in this template, we create both of those resources, the non-default VPC and the public instance. And once we create that public instance, we would like to return the public and private IP addresses. But there's no way for us to guess what those values will be unless we assigned static IP addresses, which is not the case in this example. So in order to know what those values will be, we are going to use the outputs section of our CloudFormation template to output this information once the stack has finished completing. And we do this using the function getAttribute that we just talked about. So here we are grabbing the public IP address and the private IP address from our public instance. And this public instance is defined and created up here in our resources. So we're creating a public instance EC2 resource. And once it's created, I am grabbing its public and private IP, which I know I can do based off of the documentation. How do I know that? Well, if we scroll down a little bit, we can look at the attributes that we have access to using this intrinsic function and depending on the resource type. Now I know that this is for EC2 instance, so I'm going to search for that. And then I see that we have these four or five or six different properties that we can have access to, including public IP and private IP that we're using. We could also do the same thing for DNS names and for the availability zone that it was launched inside of. We can do that for all kinds of different resources. Now, another very useful intrinsic function is the function get AZs, which stands for get availability zones. As you may know, availability zones change depending on the AWS account. So if you are building portable CloudFormation templates, you need to use this intrinsic function to inject availability zones at stack creation time. And here's how you do that. Let's go back to our template and let's search for function get AZs. Now notice that these usually start with FN colon colon and then the name of the function itself. Now in this case, what we're doing is we are using this function to define the availability zone that we want to launch our subnets inside of. Now I've got three different subnets that I'm creating in this template, and I need to have three different availability zones because that's how I want to set up my infrastructure. I don't want to have all of my subnets and therefore all of my resources inside of those subnets be in one single AZ. Instead, I want to spread it out for higher availability. So in order to do that, because I have no idea what account or what availability zones in that account will be available, I can use this function, function get AZs. Now notice I'm also using it with function select, which I'm not really going to go over, but you can also look that up in the documentation that I just showed you. I'm trying to keep this video very short. However, what we need to focus on is the fact that we're using this function get AZs. We're not specifying a region because by default, CloudFormation will just use the region that this CloudFormation stack is launched inside of, but we could also specify another region. We could put US East 1, West, et cetera, et cetera. So in this case, I'm saying grab all of the availability zones in this region, and then that's gonna give me an array, right? So once I have that array, I can choose the index of that array. So by saying index of zero, I'm saying give me the value in that array at index of zero. Here I'm saying give me the value at index of one, and here I'm saying index of two. And I know that this is how it works because if I go in the documentation, I can see an example that shows me how the result or what the result looks like. Here we can see the array, and we can see that if we called index of zero, we would get this AZ. If we called index one, we'd get this one, and index two, we'd get this one right here. And so now we see how this works. Again, we can reference the documentation for this. We can see other examples of how to use it in our CloudFormation templates. And this looks exactly the way that I've done it, or at least very similar to it. And that's how I know that I can use it. 
So thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave a comment letting me know so I can create more of these. Also, please like the video and share it to anyone you think would benefit from listening to this. But if you work with CloudFormation at any level, then definitely check out the rest of the intrinsic function because as you saw, there are many more than we covered today. Just try to give you the basics. So thanks again and see you around.